Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. By fans, for fans, I'm Daniel Grimwell. This is Christopher Draves. This show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, you can get your uh, hockey gear there and good customer service. You can also visit them at HockeyLocker.com or call them at area code 414-800-7585. You can uh, tell them from Milwaukee to Nashville, thank you. Yep. It's located across the street from Wilson Park Ice Center. Correct. Just figured I'd throw it out there too. All right, so we are covering... The Nashville Predators versus the Minnesota Wild in game one of the regular season. It's finally here, regular season hockey. I know, we were all like... We were going crazy, crazy during the off season waiting for this. I mean, it is nice seeing preseason because that gets us to be able to work out the bugs, Good. which is what we did. We worked out the bugs and uh, well, bug, let's bug, start bug breaking back. it down like usual. This was a 5-2 beatdown. The, Min uh, the Minnesota Wild got stomped by the Predators. All right, for the uh, shots on goal were 32-24 in favor of the Predators. Uh, Face-off percentage was 58-42 in favor of the Predators. Uh, the Predators were 0 for 2 on the power play. Minnesota was 1 for 3. Uh, penalty minutes was 6 for the Predators, 4 for the Wild. Uh, hits were 19-17 uh, in favor of the Wild. Uh, the Wild had 18 block shots. The Predators had 12. And giveaways were 12-7 uh, in favor of the Predators. Or against the Predators. It was an uh, unfavor. Uh, scoring in the first period was uh, nothing. Scoring in the second period was uh, Ryan Ellis with an assist from Phil Forsberg and Matt Duchesne. Welcome to the club. Or team, for that matter. Either or. You're part of the Smashville family now. Um, then, Thank you for using Smashville. I've been trying to get you to use it all season last season. Uh, uh, then scoring for the Wild was Jason Zucker with an assist from former Predator Brad Hunt and Miko Koivu. And then we had another goal 43 seconds later from Matt Dumba with an assist from Nick Foligno and unfortunately former Predator Ryan Suter. Um, then in the third period... It was all Predators all the time. It was a, a four goal slacking in the four, in the third for for the Predators and scoring the first one in that uh, third period was Mikel Granlin with an assist from Roman Yossi and Matt Duchesne, his second assist on the season. Welcome aboard the Mikel Granlin bandwagon. I've been a fan of his for the last couple of seasons. Welcome. Um, and then uh, my favorite player on the Predators roster, Austin Watson, got a goal with an assist from Ryan Ellis and Nick Benino. And then uh, Victor Arvidsson got a goal with an assist from Craig Smith and Ryan Johansson. Craig Smith had his 300th career point, so congratulations, stick pass. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with hockey or hockey terminology, the reason we do stick taps is because it's a sign of respect. Between it's kind of like a hand clap, but they use their hockey sticks and they tap the ice. It's the same principle as giving them a round of applause, correct? Correct. Um, but and, and, and most hockey um, stick taps are given um, after fights or when you hit a milestone like 300. Yeah, like I said, it's a round of applause. All right, and then in your final goal, you had an empty netter from Phil Forsberg with an assist from Matthias Ekholm and... Matt Duchesne, three assists on the night for Duchesne. Now imagine this, people. P.K. Subban never really had three assist games. He'd have like maybe one or two, but he never had three. Um, and if he did that, he would have 248 points if he scored three, had a three assist or a goal. If he had his... three points a game for the rest of the year, he'd have a lot of points. 248 point cliff, which is an NH would be an NHL record. <laughs> He'd break Gretzky's point season one point in one year. Break Gretzky's single season point record, which would be really cool, but yeah, it cool. ain't gonna happen. That's hard to do. All right, so in that for Minnesota was Devin Dubnik. He stopped 27 of 31. He stopped 20 of 24 on even strength. He stopped six of six on the power play and one of one on the shorthanded side of things. He had a save percentage of 0.871. 
Um, which anything under 900 for our goaltender is well not good. Not good. good. Um, on the other hand, we have Pecorine. He stopped uh, 22 of 24. He stopped 21 of 22 on even strength. Uh, one of two on the power play, which really shows that they were not getting a lot of chances on the power play. Yeah. And the one that did get by, uh, I will it say this. It barely got by. Yeah. It barely did. But hey, that's why Peck is the great wall of Smashville. Um, his uh, save percentage for the, for the night was .917. Uh, which is about his average on a season. All right, uh, referees were? Referees were Gre uh, Garrett Rank and Pierre Lambert. Uh, linesmen were Pierre Ricotte and Derek Nan Nansen. Uh, head coach for the Minnesota Wild is Bruce Boudreau. Uh, head coach for the Nashville Predators is Peter LaViolette. Scratches for the Minnesota Wild were Carson Susie and Victor Rask. Uh, Victor Rask, good hockey player. Yeah, like I is. said, I, I've said um, in the past about Victor Rask with, uh, with you being a Wild fan, I t when he got traded there, I told you he was a good hockey player. Yeah. Um, uh, scratches for Nashville were Daniel Carr and Matt Irwin. Um, both are understandable given how they played tonight. Yeah, honestly, uh, I think Daniel Carr should have saw some ice time, but it is what it is. What was your opinion of the Predators in their opening night? I, li I like the offensive tempo. It's really nice. Um, um, other than that, it, it was in the second period. There was a lot of um, unnecessary, uh, like there was defensive the slashing calls that I really didn't feel like they needed. The slashing to. call on Yossi that led to that power play goal. He literally just took the stick and went like this. Yeah, it's that's slashing. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to use your stick in any type of a weapon manner. I mean, but I mean, he was just he's a veteran. He should have known that. Yeah, but at the same time, he was also trying to move the stick around the guy. He yeah, got. He, I didn't moved, see that part. So the guy moved into it. When that happens, you're gonna get called every time. But hey, it's the first game of the year. I I liked your defensive play. Uh, but then again, they were playing a bottom feeder team in the wild. I mean, let's face it, the Wild, they'll be lucky to be an eighth seed if they do get into the playoffs. I don't see it, but hey, this is game one of 82, so there's a lot of hockey left to be played. And, a lot and, of hockey. And unfortunately, I'm not going to say what I want to. Please don't, because I don't want to get in trouble. You know, I'm trying to have a good year and establish good relationships with the teams that we cover. All right, uh, so... Uh, Outside of this, um, looking forward, we have uh, later tonight coming a Admirals uh, preview video. We're going to preview the team and take a look at their roster. We're also going to have a preview video for the Detroit Red Wings, which are the Nashville Predators' next opponent this Saturday night. And we are also going to do a preview video for the Iowa Wild, which, which the is Ad the very first uh, opponent for the Milwaukee Admirals 2019-2020 campaign, which starts uh, Sunday. Sunday. Um, also add in um, a little side note for those of you who um, may be new to this, maybe a new Predators fan this year, or maybe a new Admirals fan. Last year the Admirals were knocked out of the playoffs by the and Iowa Wild. Wild. So this is going to be a first round playoff uh, rematch. Hopefully we'll get the better end of it this time. Um, this time, uh, to my it's knowledge, personal. this time, yes, it, it may be personal, but they are without uh, Andrew Hammond. Who was that kicker? For yeah. those of you who remember that from last season. Yes. Um, so uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by Hockey Locker. I am Daniel Goodwill. This is Christopher Draves. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share this video. Share it with your friends, family, um, your cousin, Support brother, the cause. sister. Support the cause. Um, uh, and uh, have a great night. Have a great night. And if you're watching this during the day, have a great rest of your day. Later.